Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here this morning to try a whole bunch of stuff and hopefully catch some bass. The fall weather has them a little bit screwed up, but like I said, we're gonna try whatever we can to catch a few. We're gonna start with a plastic worm. Let's see if we can get a bite. Here's what we're starting with. Curl tail worm. It's about a five inch worm. Let's see if we can get a bass. We're casting from a ways back, trying not to scare any fish. I got a few other things to try. Like I said, if I can't get a bite on the worm, I'm not really sure what they're in the mood for. Let's go down this way. Let's try the point in the woods. It's caught on a branch for a second there, but I think I got it free. Looks good. All right, we're changing the rig. I tied on a weighted weedless jig head. And we're gonna fish it with this Sixth Sense Ned Fry 4.6 in green pumpkin. It's a stick bait, got some ridges on it. Let's wacky rig it and give it a try. There we go, just like that. Let's see if we can get a bass. They said no to the Texas rig. Maybe they'll go for the wacky rig. It's a lot more gloomy than the last time I was here. I actually caught a bunch of bass on a wacky rig. It's partly why I'm giving it another try. The fishing is just on, then off. On, then off. With the weather changing like it is, it's kind of hard. Nothing over here off the point. This might be a slow day. Let's work our way down the bank. Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Persimmons falling in the water. This is the time of year to catch a carp or a catfish on a persimmon. They might be waiting under the trees for the fruit to fall in the water, and then they just go gobble them up. If you haven't seen my video catching the huge 30 pound carp on a persimmon, it's from about a year ago. You might want to go check it out. Fish. Fish on. Oh, nice bass. Nice bass. All right. First fish of the day right here on the wacky rigged worm. The sixth sense Ned Fry. Yeah. Good looking healthy fish here. Somewhere between a pound and a half and two pounds. Yeah, nice thick fish. Tall, right? Look how tall it is. It's like a little football. 
Yeah, good fish, let's let him go. First fish of the day. I need to get a picture. That's what I need. Like I said, about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. Let's let him go. Looks like I still got my bait here. Looks good. I'll show you the package one more time. Got them on this right here, Sixth Sense Ned Fry 4.6. It's been a bit slow, so I am glad I got one. Let's keep going. This is the Classic Man with RWF Wrestling. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <laughs> Fish. Oh yeah, another nice one. How is this one hooked? Ooh, in the tongue. Let's get this out carefully and get him back in the water as soon as we can. Sometimes they bleed when you hook them in the tongue. Got it. There we go. That's a decent largemouth bass. Yeah, I got a little blood on my fingers because he's hooked in the tongue. But I think he's gonna be all right. We're gonna let him go sooner than later so that blood can start clotting once I let him go. Good fish. Yeah, good fish. Second fish on that wacky rig. There he goes. Nice. The weighted wacky rig, doing pretty good. Weighted wacky rig, say that 10 times real fast. Anyway, two bass. Let's keep going. Yeah, I would continue that way, but I just saw someone coming from over there. They're also bank fishing, so... Even though that guy previously fished all this water, moved his truck from here to there to right in front of me, now I'm over here where he already fished. I would love to get one over here. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. fish. There's one that guy missed. All right. Fish number three. You know, I didn't want to come over here and fish where he was fishing, but he forced my hand and now I got this one. Check it out. We got about a one pound bass here. 
Got a little bit of meat on his bones. Third fish of the day. Yeah, good looking bass. Got him on that wacky rigged six cents Ned Fry with a weighted jig head. Fish number three. Let's let him go. Wow, see that? Holy cow. Look at all the leaves that have washed into this drain over here. The drain is probably clogged with logs and sticks and leaves. Well, that's just about it for today. I did pretty well. I got three largemouth bass on the wacky rig worm, but zero on the Texas rig worm. The six cents dead fry did all right. The weighted jig head did all right. I think I only missed one fish. That's a good day for me. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <laughs>